My name is Jessica and I am the Organized Mama. I help families just like you with organizing tips, tricks, and tutorials. I get asked all the time by clients, by friends, how do you get your kids to help out more around the house? Like, how do you get them to have more responsibility, to take more ownership of different places around the house? This is a huge battle between parents and kids. And now I don't have all the answers, but I do have some that have really helped and transformed my clients and my own family. The biggest thing that we have done in our home, and I recommend that you do it too, is to create a list of responsibilities that your kids are required to do daily or weekly. These are different than chores. Seriously, like chores and responsibilities need to be two separate things. Their responsibility is what you are expected to do to be a member of this household. Chores are extra and we pay for chores, but their chores are not tied to their responsibilities. They're totally separate. So let me give you an example. I have my little sheet that me and the kids made up. Now, one thing my kids are responsible for is making their bed every day. That's their responsibility. It is required to maintain their bedroom. They have to make their bed every day. The way I've taught them to make their bed, they literally are in their bed, they pull up the covers, fold it over, and your bed is made. And then you kind of like slide out and smooth it out. It's really easy. Pretty much anybody can do it. Like their beds aren't that big, so it is perfect and it really works for them. And it's an easy way to be like, this is your responsibility. It's one less thing I have to worry about. I've just found so many of my clients struggle because they feel like everything is on their plate. So by giving your kids specific responsibilities, you are pushing more things off of your plate and onto other capable individuals in your household, including your kids. Another one of their responsibilities is to keep their room clean. They are required to pick up their room every night. The rooms don't get like that messy, so they just need to kind of tidy it up a little bit. That's part of their bedtime routine. We've like built that in, so they tidy up their room and then, you know, get pajamas, brush teeth, read books, that fun stuff. But their room is tidy before we even start like the reading books in bed. Another thing they're responsible for every day is to clean up the toys that they played with during the day. So after dinner, we usually spend like 10 minutes cleaning up the house. We just kind of like pick up stuff. Everyone's required to do this. Whatever is not picked up, if you've been following me for a while, you know what I do. I just get a garbage bag and start tossing things that aren't picked up. You do it like once and the kids are like, okay, like I'll clean up. But if you notice that the kids don't care and are like, fine, throw it away, that should be your big red flag to be like, oh my gosh, we have too many toys. I need to get rid of basically all of them. Because once the kids stop caring that you're getting rid of the toys, then you just need to be like, okay, we're gonna spend one weekend going through the toys. The kids have to take out all the toys that they want to keep and everything else just get rid of. Don't play the game like, are you sure you wanna get rid of that? And is that really the best choice? And oh, but you sometimes, you, you are the one that has a sentimental value, not the kids. So you really gotta separate it. If you want them to clean up their toys every night, you need to streamline their toys so that they can clean it up. Another responsibility my kids have is to put their plate from what they're eating near the kitchen sink. I don't need to clear the table. They can do it themselves. They can you know, put the plate by the sink. Um, sometimes they can load the dishwasher. It depends. Um, on like what's on there. If we have like ketchup and stuff that needs to be rinsed off, they can't totally reach the sink yet. So that's why that's not a responsibility yet. Once they get to the height where they can do it independently, then it will become a responsibility. But for right now, since they can't, but they can reach the counter, that's where we go. The responsibility list, it's ever growing, right? So like as they become more independent, I can keep adding more things or extending the responsibility. So right now, you put your plate by the sink when we're done with breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and once they get old enough, then that responsibility is you put your plate that you're finished with into the dishwasher. 
there will be some training as to like what you know that means so you got to rinse off your plate and then you put it in the dishwasher but that responsibility will grow over time. Another responsibility they have is to get themselves dressed in the morning. They also have to put away their own laundry. With the laundry, it can be kind of crazy, right? Like some kids will push back really hard. Some kids might get overwhelmed by the amount of laundry. So what I recommend is finding a good balance for you and your family. Some of my clients, they fold all the laundry and then their kids have to put it away. I have other clients whose kids get one laundry basket that the parent puts away and anything in addition to that for the week, the kid has to put away. So this goes for more like upper elementary, middle school, high school kids. But I personally think high school kids should just be able to put away their own laundry themselves. The elementary school kids, if you have to sit there while they put it away, that's okay, like you can do that. You can also bring in like your laundry and fold your laundry while they're folding theirs just in case they need that extra motivation. Sometimes you might need to remind them of the steps. Sometimes you might just need to coach them through a little bit and all of that is completely fine, but just make sure that you're starting now so that you can build. So when they're in middle school, they put it away all by themselves and you don't have to worry about it. My kids have to brush their teeth morning and night. They have to brush their hair. Those are also their responsibilities. Pack up their backpack, get their jacket, shoes, make sure that they have their school stuff, their lunch boxes. All of that is their responsibility. They help me pack their lunch. We don't totally go like full on the kids pack their lunch yet. My son could basically pack his lunch. I still help by like cutting up the fruit and making the sandwiches, but they pick out what they want in their lunch box. So they're helping me with the lunch packing process and that's worked out really well as well because I'm not the only one packing the lunch. They are responsible for what goes into their lunch box. So then I don't get like the after school, why did you pack this in my lunch box? because we used to get that a lot until I started making it one of their responsibilities. Okay, so how does this differentiate from chores? So in our house, chores are tasks that are different than responsibilities. Responsibilities are getting things off of my plate that I know the kids are fully capable of doing. Chores are things that we pay them for, and those include emptying the dishwasher. I'm gonna empty the dishwasher every day regardless of if they help or not. So if they help or if they do it themselves, then I pay them. Also, watering the plants. I'm gonna water the plants either way, but if they wanna help, then you know they can get paid for that. Putting away the groceries, bringing the groceries in from the car, all of those are things that will get done regardless of if they do it or not. Whereas a responsibility is something that might not get done if they don't do it, like brushing their teeth, right? Like they're old enough, especially like now that they're not babies, they're old enough they can brush their own teeth. They don't need my assistance to brush teeth. So that's why it's a responsibility. A chore is something I have to do regardless of if they help or not. Another chore we have for the kids is to wash windows. That's something, you know, Neither my husband nor I really enjoy doing, but sometimes the kids just are like, I'm bored, I wanna do something. So we give them a chore, and that's like an easy chore. Wiping down the chairs, wiping the table, taking out the garbage. Um, all of those are chores that they can choose to do to earn money. All of those things will get done by either my husband or myself, regardless of if the kids help out. So that's like how we differentiated, right? Like a responsibility is something that they have to do just to take something off of my plate that involves them, where a chore is something that makes the household function, but will still get done regardless of their help or not. And I really wanted to differentiate between the two because them contributing, I'm fine paying them for that, but some of the things that are expectations in this house, I don't think that they deserve to get paid to make your bed every morning or keep your room tidy. Those are things that are just a life skill. You just have to do. So that's how we differentiated between the two. The things that like you need to do in order to function in your daily life versus 
things that are going to, that need to get done for the household. I have my full list of responsibilities and chores listed below in the description where you're watching this video. So if you really wanna see like a big breakdown of how I have put together our home responsibilities and chores, I've also done this for clients as well, just so that they had a starting, like a base for where to start when you are moving into this responsibilities and chores model. My name is Jessica and thank you so much for stopping by my channel. New videos coming out every week, so make sure that you subscribe. 